I spoke about this in the past, but I wasn't able to get people's feedback because the comments were not enabled. But that is what I want to do today. This may be, may not be a type of moral dilemma. Uh, Candace Cameron, uh, the sister of Kirk Cameron, he's an outspoken uh, professing Christian, and she is as well. They have this type of uh, sit-down conversation about the things of God and Christianity and whatnot. Uh, she also is an actress, and she has starred in these Hallmark romance shows where there is uh, a couple getting together, breakup relationships, at times infidelity, adultery, and then they get back together at the end, and they have a time of togetherness, as you'll see in the short video clip I'm going to show you here in a minute. But I want to get your opinion as to whether or not in your opinion, and if you have scripture, you can back it up. That'd be great too. Whether a Christian woman, a professing Christian woman, should partake in Hollywood shows, or positions as an actress, where she is involved in a type of, you know, under acting, involved in a type of acting job where she has romantic relations with other men that are not her husband. Candace Cameron, I believe her last name is Burr. She's married. She has a husband. And she's been doing these Hallmark uh, shows for years. I don't know if she still does to this day, but she has in the past, even while being a professing Christian. Maybe she's come to repentance, maybe not. But she has started many of these shows uh, with a person that's not her husband. And, you know, there's embracing, there's hugging, there's kissing, there's who knows what else goes on. I know for myself, I have an opinion on this. And I don't believe that a husband, as the scripture says here, husbands love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Uh, I don't believe that as a husband, that I can just let my wife go and, and act in certain roles that put her with other men. I don't believe that's a proper love, that's my opinion. Also in Hosea 2.5, it states, For their mother hath played the harlot, she that conceived them hath done shamefully. For she said, I will go after my lovers, that give me my bread and my water, my wool and my flax, mine oil and my drink. So she's playing the harlot, and she's going after people that will provide for her, that will give her her luxuries in life, that will give her her dainties, her her uh, employment. Likewise, with the acting job, if their if their perspective is that well, we're making money, so I'm just going to let her go out and do you know these acting jobs. At least she's bringing home the money. If that's the position her husband is taking, that's a sad position to take. The Bible says if a man doesn't provide for his own household, he's worse than an infidel. He's denied the faith. But the point is, is that the, the moral dilemma that some would say there's a moral dilemma is, is she allowed as a Christian? Is it okay for her to go out and make movies, make a paycheck, and then have intimate relations with men that are not her husband? That's the question. And, and look at you have here, the Christmas contest. You have her here and another man. I don't believe that's her husband. But I, I would assume that there's there's a type of intimacy with this man. It's usually at the end of the movie, right? When everything pans out and everything works out, they go through some sort of dilemma uh, during the body of the of the show, and and they they patch everything up and everything gets fixed. And at the end, you know, the credits right before the credits roll, the music comes on, and they look at each other in the eyes, and then they go in for the kiss, and it usually takes place. You know, these aren't just dead souls of there. These are human beings with emotions, with feelings. And when you come uh, into a position where you're that close and, and together and you share something that's supposed to be within the confines of a marriage, things can go in a way that you may have not intended for them to go to. But you put yourself in that situation. Here's another one. Christmas under wraps. I don't believe that this is her husband either. I'm not here to condemn you, Candace Cameron. Burr, I believe that's your last name. 
I'm just here to bring this to your awareness. If you're watching this, think about it. Pray about it. Is this something that God wants you to do? Here's another one. It's a, it's a, it's a different actor. How many of these movies has she starred in? How many of these Christmas movies has she starred in? I've only pulled up three. I'm not going to spend all day you know, trying to find out all the Hallmark shows she starred in. But I would assume there are more than three shows. And there are more than three men that she had to be intimate with. Something to think about. Until next time. Best kiss ever.